What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we will be having a look at this IKEA inspired product slider. It's a part of our IKEA sections we just brought out. It's the one we did a video about already. It's called Grid Pro but today we will be focusing on that one. I think it's a really nice way to showcase some products with this animated slider. You can either put in a product a collection or a custom one and I'm going to show you how you can do this in a few easy steps. The first thing I did for it was headed on over to the Shopify app store where I got the section store app. It's a non-subscription Shopify app that means you can get it completely for free without, without having to pay for anything. And then we're going to go on newest releases. That's called Slider. Like I said already, app itself is completely free. This section does come with a one-time charge of $9. But if you bought it once, you will own it forever. And you're not going to have to pay a developer to code this one for you. So I think at the end of the day, you're going to save yourself a lot of time and money. So yeah, after successfully getting it, we head back to the main area of the app and click on My Sections. It's a collection of all the sections you already own and you want it added to the theme you're using. In my case, it's the Dawn Life theme, but it does work on every theme. And then simply just open up the theme you installed it to. Also the Dawn Life theme in my case, I've already opened it up right here. And to add it, you actually have to scroll all the way down, type in slider, and it's gonna appear in a second, hopefully. Yeah, that's the one. And it's gonna give you a little default version, which will be looking like that. And to actually add products, I'm just gonna get rid of that one again. I'll just use the one. Uh, I left a little space open here. Let's just click on that. The slider, we will be clicking. We wanna have this product, so I'm just gonna drag it up a bit more. So this is one empty slot, we're just gonna delete it. So you would have the option to either add a product, a collection, a block, an article, but I wanna do a custom one. So I can pretty much decide over everything and how it's going to look like. So we'll click on it. First thing I would like to change is the image, of course. I will add this chair and let's say it's a IKEA chair. And the subtitle is going to be designed by Mark Hoffman. And we can also link it to a product. Let's do this camp still right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's what I also did to all the other blocks in this section. And now I'm gonna show you how you can customize a few things inside that thing. For example, if you click on it, you can decide how much padding it will have to the top and bottom. Then also the layout gaps, so how much space there will be in between those things. So let's drag it back again. The store is behind the sections. So this is going to affect the main headline of the thing and it's all updating live. I think it's really nice. Let's make it a tiny little bit smaller so you can see a change is happening here. It does of course work on mobile as well. It's fully responsive. You can see it right here. So you have this nice little progress bar down here which shows you how far you are in your slide navigation. Let's switch back to desktop. So you have a little bit more to see. And yeah, you can align the text wherever you want it. You could do it centered as well. But I think left makes the most sense here. Also the subheading is changeable too. You can change the size, everything, and the alignments and everything too. We can also decide how many slides we wanna have per view and desktop and also on mobile. So we decide how much space they actually take up. The arrow size is something we could change as well. You can see it right here. Maybe let's make it a bit smaller. And yeah, a bunch of other things like the image ratio. And I think you just get it pretty much yourself. I just wanna give you a quick overview how it's working. We can also decide how the slider background is going to be. Scroll wall background, let's maybe try something out and put this one to orange. Ah, it's actually that one. Sorry for that. Just simply switch it back. I want to change the body background. Let's see how this is going to look in orange. It's actually looking quite nice. And yeah, we could also change the arrow color right here. So now if we have orange, maybe blue builds a nice contrast. Now the arrow color has to be in a different color too. So let's put this and we're going to save it all up. As you can see here, you can add a bunch of margins and paddings and decide how far this action with as well. If you want to have a full width, that is also possible. So it takes up all the space and then you have to take the padding away. But yeah, let's have a final look at it, how it's looking in the live version, what we did to it. 
you can see the orange background was changed and also our new product was added as well we linked it to the camp stool let's see if that link is working as well it is working perfectly fine and that brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys found that useful and if you did always feel free to leave a like and a follow and with that being said have a good one and peace out